You're walking along the riverbank. It's quiet, save for the water's peaceful burbling. The hot Georgia sun beats down on your neck. That's when you notice something strange on the ground. Looks like a quarter-sized black coin with a weird pattern on it. You bend over for a closer look. Is it a coin? This thing looks like an ancient seal with a symbol carved in it. It's probably from some long-lost civilization. You could sell it and make a fortune. You crouch down on one knee to pick up your newfound treasure. As soon as your finger touches it, you pull your hand back as fear wells in your gut. It's hairy. You go to pick it up again, digging your nails in the dirt around it to pull it out of the ground. That's when it moves. Your heart jumps in your throat. It's pounding so hard you can feel it in your head. The fear turns to horror when the coin wiggles its way out of the ground. It's no ancient treasure. It's a huge spider. A ravine trapdoor spider, to be precise. This hard, coin-looking growth on the back of its body serves as a shield. The eight-legged terrors burrow into the ground and plug it like a cork so hungry enemies can't get to them. Or, you know, giant confused humans like you. This spider is venomous, but its bite isn't toxic to humans. Who, lucky you. But I didn't say you wouldn't feel it. Best stay away from those sizable pincer-like fangs. Ow! Well, so much for your riches. Perhaps fortune awaits you in Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. You're walking on dried up ground when you notice a long white stripe up ahead. You get closer. Oh, looks like a super long worm, you think to yourself. But it doesn't move like any worm you've ever seen. That's when you see it has arms and a head. This pale creature with black beady eyes is a Mexican mole lizard. It lives in the ground where all its dinner of insects and termites hang out. It rarely comes out, so you're pretty lucky to have seen this bizarre reptile. Now you're in a rainforest in northeastern Australia. Ahead, half hidden among the trees, you notice something large and round. This mysterious figure lying on the ground is covered in black hair. At first, you think it's a bear curled up sleeping. But that wouldn't make any sense. There are no bears down under. You're getting closer when a twig snaps under your foot. The thing hears you and springs to its legs. It turns to you, and you now see this is a bizarre and beautiful bird. That black hair is actually a thick coat of long, fine feathers. This formidable fowl has a bright blue head with a large horn on top. It stands on two powerful legs with a dagger-like claw on each foot that can be as long as your hand. Take away those feathers, and you might mistake this thing for a velociraptor. But it's actually a cassowary, the most dangerous bird in the world. It could jump straight over your head if it wanted to, definitely high enough to kick you in the chest. And its blows are strong enough to break bone, not to mention that claw that can cut through anything like butter. This bird was made to hunt and avoid being hunted. Don't even consider running away, not unless you too can sprint over 30 miles per hour. Diving into that lake over there won't save you either. This bird is an excellent swimmer. Best just to back away slowly and hope it doesn't come after you. Another creature that proves it's best to keep your hands to yourself is the panda ant. The naming is obvious. It's black and white and furry like the beloved bamboo-chewing bear. This furry little bugger lives in the forests of Chile. But don't go to pet this fluffy little ant. What you're looking at is no ant at all. It's a species of wasp. That black and white coloring serves one purpose, to warn others of this insect's powerful sting. And if that doesn't make you back away, the wasp will let out a squeaking sound. It sounds cute to us humans, but it means a painful sting is around the corner. These insects are loners. They don't live in colonies and don't have nests. They're also parasites. A female panda ant lays eggs next to the larvae of another insect. Then the hatched babies use these larvae as food.